Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is JSA's Fast Forward, where we broadcast live on LinkedIn. I'm your host, Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA. And joining me is my fabulous co-host, the bright, the talented, the amazing, Dean Green. Dean Brine, yeah. Vice President of JSA. Jamie, you forgot to mention how handsome I am in the intro. <laughs> now I, I must have, it, yeah, next time. Definitely next time we'll work it in. If we could work in, then I'm a very good dancer as well. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pushing it. I think I've, I've seen your dance moves, Dean. Sorry. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and get to the news if we have to. Jamie and I have been sifting through the headlines for the last month, and here are and here we are to bring you the stories from the world of tech, telecom, and data center. We sure are. And we should say there is so much going on in the industry these days. We are back, guys. It is the event season that we've been waiting for. ITW just around the corner. Data Cloud Global Congress wrapping up as we talk. Yep, so just make sure that you are checking out JSA TV for the latest news and interviews from all of the big events. Yeah, and you know what? One big piece of news coming out of Data Cloud in Monaco as we speak. Um, uh, amazing, amazing stuff there. Prime data centers taking home the Data Cloud Global Award for Excellence in Data Centers. Ah! Data Cloud separates the nominations into different geographical areas and Prime to Comey Award for all of North and South America, huge award. Absolutely, and Zenlayer won the Data Cloud Global Award for Edge Enablement. That's just two of the 16 companies recognized at the award ceremony. So lots of uh, great awards given out to a lot of uh, well-deserving companies. A great night recognizing many of uh, JSA's clients to uh, to be very honest with you. <laughs> and, and industry innovators and leaders. So congratulations everybody. And I'm so proud to say JSA was there in the audience at that awards uh, ceremony. Thank you to our team, Barb, Amy, who traveled so far to get there and be with our clients, taking those photos, sharing the wins on social as they happened live and getting our clients news also reported on JSA TV video interviews. And they were looking great doing so. I know some of those photos that are coming in from Monaco, uh, uh, Amy and Barb look absolutely stunning and are getting some great, great video while on site. Um, but aside from, uh, from Monaco, don't forget uh, Channel Partners in Las Vegas, which took place just before that. I wasn't at Channel Partners this time, but I know that there were a number of JSAers that were, and they were all keeping very, very busy while on the, uh, on the floor there at uh, Channel Partners. Yeah, they certainly were. Uh, many of you guys know Buffy and Candace from JSA, our team rocking it out in Vegas, of course, just one week, two weeks ago. Ah, crazy busy month. And all those channel partner headlines happening from the floor. Uh, we got them, guys. Uh, those interviews, those video interviews are just now being released on JSA TV. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and check out JSA TV. It's funny when you say Buffy and Candace in the same sentence, I think powerhouse immediately. The two of them are absolutely um, powerhouses here at JSA. Um, I also know our friends from American Tower were at the uh, channel partner event in a big way with their partner company, Corsight. We've all heard of Corsight with booths and taking part in a speaking panel. So uh, their participation at channel partner is pretty significant. Yeah, you know, and I love to see more of our clients uh, both from telecom and data center companies combined, getting really more active in the channel. That's that's a trend we've been seeing for several years now. Um, and channel partners was uh, that was on display for sure. And by the way, guys, to keep track of all this crazy breaking news, we also are posting things on our TNN blog. That's like CNN, but telecom infrastructure industry. So TNN, yeah, just. Yeah as important as CNN, maybe more important, at least, <laughs> at least, at least in our industry. Um, <laughs> CNN even went above and beyond the usual news of the month with a couple of think pieces, which I uh, near and dear to my heart. I love, I love these kind of think pieces that we put out on TNN now. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I, I, was, I was reading them too, Dean, um, particularly of interest, a couple of notable pieces from 1623 Farnham, Love those guys. Mm -hmm. One discussing the present and future of 5G and how readers can really prepare for this 5G era. 
Absolutely. And we are going to hear a lot more about the 5G era as, uh, as, the, as the year progresses. Um, there was also a very interesting survey about what peering clients are looking for when choosing an interconnection site. So it's kind of a, uh, an, inside, an inside tip on what the peering clients are actually looking for with regard to uh, interconnection sites. So check that out as well. A buyer's guide. I love that. Another great article on TNN this month. Uh, an interview with LightPath CTO, Phil Olivero. We love Phil. He's spoken at so many of our roundtables over the years. Um, but Phil is talking about meeting the industry's need to connect terrestrial networks with subsea cables. So important and really great read. Yep. And speaking of LightPath, it's been a big month for them as they announced the completion of a 300-mile route uh, between Ashburn, Virginia, we've all heard of Ashburn, and New York City, we've all heard of New York City as well, adding some diversity to their 19,000 mile network across the eastern, eastern seaboard. Yeah, they're, they're really taking over. And mm -hmm. I love this, Manhattan down to Ashburn, of course, that area, like you mentioned, so critical uh, in our industry. Yeah, they don't call it Data Center Alley for nothing. Unlike the Midwest where I li live, where they call it Tornado Alley. So <laughs> I, think I, I think I would prefer the Data Center Alley. Um, I, I think it's something like 70% of all internet traffic goes through uh, Data Center Alley uh, there in, in, uh, in that, um, that corridor every single day. So that's every pretty significant. Day. Craziness. Plus, we should say it's a former home state of JSA. We moved to Nevada, but we, we love Virginia always. Also the home of Virginia Ham. Virginia Ham. Do, have you, is, is that as good as people say? Yeah, I have no idea. I just really like saying Virginia Ham. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, as you ham it up, I'll get us back on track here. Light Path, Light Path wasn't the only company rolling out new network this month. Dean, do you want to talk us through some other deployment and construction news? I do. And there's some, again, that are near and dear to my heart. Um, there are a few new facility announcements to make this month. But for starters, I am critical and veiled plans for an energy efficient, high performance computing. We're going to hear a lot more about HPC as the year um, goes uh, continues on as well. A modular data center campus in, you guessed it, Pittsburgh. Um, and what's really noticed, uh, not notable, easy for me to say, about this specific deployment is that it is a modular design, right? So it, um, so for uh, quick scalability um, and edge and also sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. We're going to hear so much about that um, as we move through this year and hopefully for many years to come. Hell yeah. <laughs> and the proven team at IM, we should say, um, uh, they they really do have it uh, a really great team. So yep. no question, they have the expertise to get it done. Um, also, we should talk about Precision OT, another organization looking at a new type of facility as they move their regional headquarters into the UK. Yep, as a producer of optical transceivers, Preci Precision OT. OT's move will help them keep up with demand as the new facility doubles their footprint and workforce in the region. So we're creating jobs here in the industry too, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Amazing, amazing. Growth, growth, growth. That's certainly uh, the underlying theme here. And notably, we need to talk data bank. Always on the move, always growing. Uh, now they are expanding. They are adding another 24,000 square feet and four megawatts of power to their SNA2 data center in Irvine, California. And Databank, Databank says that they are excited to be part of Irvine's big five-year strategic technology plan. I love that. I love that. And of course, you can't grow effectively without harnessing the power of your team, something we know quite well here at JSA. Yes, we do. <laughs> and so many companies, they're adding great people uh, as well as square feet. That's right, uh, Jamie, exactly. In Ohio, Horizon has appointed their first ever chief people officer. That's chief people officer in Susan Hoffer. Uh, Susan's first big challenge on the job will be adding an additional 30% to the company's workforce to handle the company's big upcoming projects. Again, more people. This is great news for the industry. And 30% more. Like that's, in, that's incredible growth right there. Um, <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we should also mention Vivacity Infrastructure Group. 
also a new face in the boardroom there as they name Lynn Reefer, their new president and CEO. Gosh, I remember Lynn way back when he was CEO of Looking Glass Networks. I don't know, turn of the century. Does that make me sound really old? Like 2000 to 2006 ish. I, he was a client of mine back at Telex back in the day. You know, yeah. and Looking Glass was an innovative company way back then. You know, so they, yeah. this is this is big news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lynn, uh, Lynn. Uh, and Lynn, Lynn has a track record of leadership in our industry, of course, and he will be in charge of all of the vivacities. I'm saying that right, correct? Correct. Uh, vivacity. 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 Groups. E X squared technology, Terra Consulting Group, and Viva Cities and Viva City Networks. And Vivacity's right networks. Vivacity. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Um, also, we, we have to mention, too, another rock star announcement. Dave Ryan, you may remember his strategic ops technical management from, you know, logos like AWS and CR, CBRE, uh, some big logos there. Well, he's been named site operations manager for T5 data centers. So Dave will work in Ireland, actually, to establish the company's campus and network there, really with plans to create a presence in the EU and the European Union. Jay, it sounds like a great time to grow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and P.S., don't tell my daughter that, Dean, because, oh my gosh, Ava Capri is almost two. Sorry, side note, uh, but I can't even get up anymore. She's so big and tall and amazing. I guess I need to use more of my stroller. You know, the last time we were on the, the big group uh, family call here at JSA and you showed Ava, I could not believe what a hybrid she was of you and Rory. Uh -huh. I've never seen a kid that looked that much like their mom and their dad. Oh, thanks. We, we look at her sometimes. We're like, where did she come from? She's pure magic. And can't see, you know, like, but she's, uh, she's incredible. She really is. And gosh, I guess uh, in no time at all, she'll be reaching for those car keys. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't say that. My daughter just started driving last year. Oh, so. Grace, Grace. Yeah, right. So anyway, let's stick with the growing theme. Jamie, you and I can get on some tangents, can't we? Um, let's talk business partnerships. One partnership that has gotten even stronger recently is the one between Cologix and Erlion. I think I that's just, different. Erlion? I that to you that one because I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Brett. We know who you are. <laughs> so uh, Cologix and Erlion, as they collaborated on a new point of presence in Columbus, Ohio, in the Midwest, go Midwest. Um, one of, uh, one's an edge data center and one's an IP backbone. It's a match made in network heaven. Aww, yeah. love that. network heaven. Yay. Couldn't have said it better myself, Dean. Right. Another match was made in Ohio as Consolidated Cooperative and their 18,000 locations joined Horizon. 450 route miles will now be added to Horizon's network as the two companies work to integrate over the coming months. And Yay. another interesting acquisition took place this month when Light River joined Gain Management, a private investment firm exclusively focused on broadband technology and global communications. Light River says the move will enable them to expand their solution portfolio and customer base. More growth, more expansion. That's awesome. And with good people, we love our Light River family. We do love them. Um, another big partnership agreement near and dear to my heart, right here at JSA. We are welcoming Myriad 360 as our newest client. They are a full service IT solution provider. And we can't tell you, wait to tell you all their news um, as the future uh, brings it. So welcome aboard Myriad 360. We can't wait to get started. All right. When I was reading, when I was reading, kind of our format of today's uh, fast forward, I knew we were going to get to a point where you were going to get very, very jazzed up, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Another topic that I know to be dear and uh, near and dear to your heart is that of Earth Day, mm -hmm. um, and there were a few Earth Day related events across the industry this year. In fact, very, very recently. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys, it's our Earth Day news section. Cue the music. This is live, by the way, guys. We might need. Oh, there it is, the music. 
Okay. We're so legit now, Jamie. I know. I love our team. Um, okay. There was a big Earth Day release that I am dying to talk about. Well, was it the big was it the big day for Data Bank as they joined the Arbor Day Foundation as part of the foundation's Time for Trees initiative? Is that the one you mean, Jamie? That is such a great, great headline. I loved it. But um, so, so you must be talking then about the iMasons Climate Accord news, right? Yes, I do, Dino. I love this one. This is a biggie. Yeah, it is a biggie. The iMasons announced a collaboration of over 70 companies to reduce carbon in digital infrastructure, materials, products, and power. This is huge. Yes, yes. It's called the iMasons Climate Accord, ICA. And the big aim is to report on and reduce carbon consumption in the data center industry. Our friends at T5 were a part of it, becoming one of the founding members on the Accord in an effort to reduce the industry's carbon footprint. And speaking of those new iMasons Climate Accord members, this is literally hot off the press. We got this news just this morning. Courtney, thank you very much for handing that over to us. Um, Software developer Cato has joined as well. Cato is the founding member of the Client Accord and joins T5, as we noted above. AWS, we've all heard of those. Google, Meta, uh, Microsoft, Schneider Electric, and dozens of other global companies, including, uh, I think, us, right, Jay? Yes, of course, absolutely. I signed up JSA as a company and myself as an individual as soon as they released that link. I was all on it. You know, I'm a big fan of iMasons. And this Climate Accord, whoosh, this is amazing, perfect timing, amazing initiative, and really a headline that goes hand in hand with another Earth Day launch story. Okay, Jamie, deep breath. It's time to let it out. I know <laughs> that you can contain yourself no longer. So what is it that you really want to, want to say about Earth Day? I'm dying to tell you all about ah, greener data. Um, <laughs> I know, it's so exciting. Ah! Um, all right. This is JSA's very first published book. It is. Uh, it was released Earth Day, already an Amazon bestseller. Ah! Um, it is a multi-author book from 24 industry leaders around the world. And I should say many of us are also iMasons members, um, such such as Cato and Edge Connects and iMasons is in there too. Um, but uh, I'm so, so thrilled. Um, and, and really the focus is to give us real life examples and innovative, actionable ways. We as an industry right now can make the industry more sustainable and make the world a greener place. You know, Jay, I still haven't picked up my copy you know that's not true, but can you remind me exactly where to get a copy of Greener Data? Sure. It's this little book shop that I think is uh, what they call Amazon. <laughs> yes, um, but um, I should say it is available in digital as well as soft cover, playback, uh, paperback. Um, but more guys, it's not just a book. It's beyond a book. It's a movement, just like the I Mason's Climate Accord. We are really gathering the folks in our industry who are committed to driving real climate change. And at greenerdata.net, we will only be promoting our industry's success stories and sustainability. So we can inspire one another, share with one another, begin to really turn the tide quickly and collectively, reducing our carbon emissions, increasing our biodiversity, leveraging new measurements, new transparency, new tools, new technologies, to get greener together and fast. So please go ahead and make sure you check out greenerdata.net. We just launched this on Earth Day, Friday. Um, and uh, it's really gonna be a collection of all those great innovative success stories that can inspire us to, to really grow together. Let us know if you have a sustainability story too. We wanna hear from you. We're gonna post it on greenerdata.net. So please send it our way. Also join us as we celebrate the Greener Data Movement launch live at ITW coming up quickly Monday, May 9th from 4 to 6 p.m.
Yes, 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 yes. I am so excited. Actually, it'll be the first time I will be in person with so many of you guys. Really excited to see all faces again. Um, and ITW celebrating 15 years this year. Real great benchmark. So glad we get to do this in person. Um, we are proud to be their media partner of ITW um, and cannot think of a better time and place to launch our greener data movement. And I should mention, there is a max uh, room capacity due to COVID restrictions, 200 people. So please come early as only the first 200 people are allowed in the room. And I don't want to see my friends outside the door. So get there early and join us. And as an ITW media partner, JSA TV will be rolling, uh, rolling every 30 minutes throughout the event. Jamie, how are you going to get uh, JSA TV done uh, in between all of those hugging of all of the, <laughs> all of the friends, right? Um, something, you know, a little two-year-old at home, not not vaccinated. Um, but uh, yes, we were, we're going to be there. Booth 1300 on the exhibit hall. That's right. You can't miss the fancy cameras and the lighting and the whole TV studio set up and all that good stuff. And there are a few more spots available if you want to get your news featured on JSA TV while at ITW. So email us at my favorite URL. Yay. Say hi at JSA.net. Say hi. Um, my little name is hi. <laughs> yeah. All right. Absolutely. See you guys there. See you soon, hopefully, at ITW in person. If not, next month right here virtually on LinkedIn Live for more JSA Fast Forward, our headlines from the world of telecom and data centers. As always, guys, stay safe, think green, and happy networking. Happy networking. Happy networking.